Hello and welcome back with me, Aaron, on AB Gaming. So, joining me uh, on the universe and once again today, uh, I am recording these in a batch. So, we are literally just going to crack on with where we left off. Um, we've obviously got the fishing hut now in. We've got people, uh, one person working in that, which is Hiquifes. Hiquifes. However you say that. Obviously, the... the Fish count in this massive snow of sea ocean is obviously nice really, really, really slippers. good. It's uh, two million one hundred and fifty-eight thousand one hundred and seventy. So that is a lot of fish, which means we can utilize a lot of fisheries uh, in this area, which obviously gets us a substantial amount of food. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, we are, in terms of research, just to clarify where we are at. So the thing we're doing at the moment is the, this one just so we can expand the wells because our wells are actually not big enough, uh, not not right now. Uh, they only have two slots, two working slots. So yeah, we do need to expand the wells uh, quite a lot. Uh, and once that is done, uh, we will obviously upgrade them instantly. Uh, we're then going on to obviously the old, uh, the old O1 tool sh toolkit, which obviously allows us to get. Um, Nuggets accessories, engineering hot, water wheel, uh, or requires water wheel. You get the engineer's hot basically, so we can actually start fixing stuff. Uh, then we'll go to storage, then go calendar, and then we'll probably go back on ourselves and then start doing like, um, oh, we need material refinement, so we can't do that yet. Never mind. Uh, then we'll probably do hospital then, uh, maybe with a little bit of the hospital tree and stuff. And yeah, we'll see where we. So we'll, we'll queue that up actually, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Well, that was a really quick intro. Bloody heck. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Apologies about that. That was uh, really, really fast. Uh, sort of rushed through that one. Okay, so uh, thank you ever so much for everyone that is supporting you know us, by the way. Uh, we'll turn the water on now since this does need water. Uh, so we will turn the water on now. We are producing, or we should be producing enough. Um, it should be producing 20 water, which is fine but we're not producing anything because the lake has obviously frozen over because it's only three degrees so uh yes yeah, so uh, that we'll just have to wait unfortunately uh we still got berries and all the other stuff so i'm not too fussed on that if i'm honest uh, the eatery is finally going in uh, it's only took it a whole episode to do uh, in terms of the well here we go the well expansion is ready so we will upgrade that straight away um, because we do need it. Uh, what is that? I can't say I'm a fan of nugget delicacies, but it should What's keep everyone mean? relatively alive and happy. They do seem to brew some interesting beverages, though. I don't know. Hmm, apologies. I don't actually know what that sign is. <laughs> we will get someone working in here, so we'll get the first one on. Or we'll get one of the older ones, so we'll get Bambi. Uh, she can You've work in there, that's perfectly fine. Dental, I'm right. not being stereotypical, by the way. I would allow, obviously, men to work in these places as well. Uh, just that, obviously, I'm just going for one of the older population. Uh, since we are now have eight, we should be able to uh, find a couple of nuggets. Uh, let's, come on, grab you and grab... Where have you gone? There we I go. Couldn't possibly let's grab them together. Uh, put them together to uh, help expand our civilization just that little bit quicker, which obviously will help quite a lot. Uh, is that a house? It is. I wish you could. Um, I don't know if there is a tool. There might be a tool. I wish you could say don't build there or like move your building. Um, but obviously, I'm not. Uh, I'm the creator not the designer <laughs> so they will just build wherever they uh, they feel fit so i just have to accept that unfortunately uh, we haven't done a save game yet because like i say we're just continuing on from where we left off uh but yeah so these should all start working obviously once winter passes uh, we are working on the uh old o1 toolkit uh, which means we will be able to get our engineer's hut, which is in here. As far as, nope. In there. Epicenter one. Uh, there it is. So we will be able to get this once we unlock it in the uh, tech tree. Mm. 
I'm just having a little scout around to see what we do have. No. Okay, so we'll build engineers hot now I think anyway. The birds are conspiring against you. Uh, so we do want it to be in rain. We need probably two then. So unless we sort of plan this like sort of uh, pretty good. So we put it in the middle there. If we put it in the middle, that should be able to reach everything that we currently pretty much have. Like go there. It just went we had to reach the reservoirs. Uh, however, the reservoirs should start now filling up once we, uh, once the, the lake unfreezes itself. We it is so everything is four and out now, which is obviously really good. Uh, so we should be fine on that regard. Okay, there we go. Temperature is rising, so this should start working very very soon, uh, which is happy days for us. Uh, we're working on storage which again is very very good because we do need storage because we have a lot of lines stuff lying around that we can definitely put into storage which we can utilize has this been upgraded yet so you are nearly actually upgraded uh I, the only thing about the wells or anything upgrading wise i wish you could prioritize it but there is no button to prioritize but that's something that the uh, the devs could obviously work on uh, I, I personally think they should have a prioritized button on the wells uh, or on anything that you can upgrade because at the end of the day um, you know we need this well upgraded like right right now so it'd be ideal if it was obviously done right now <laughs> uh, let me just grab a rock ah oh, they're rebuilding it that's why Oh, okay, just break the fucking thing. I just broke the well. Of course I have. Of course I just did. For God's sakes. <laughs> right, let's... <laughs> right, let's put that back in exactly where it was. Uh, the only good thing is now I can prioritize it. So I will click that a few times. They are actually building a new stone hut, which is kind of bizarre. Why did they do that? Because that one's broke. Are they going to build it like a more ex I don't know, extravagant stone hut? Is that, is that what they're going to do? I don't get it. Um, oh, well, we'll, just, we'll leave them to it anyway. I'm not going to say no anyway. So let's prioritize that. That does need to get done. The water should be now starting to get stored, which it is great. Uh, we only actually need eight, and we're currently producing 20 with this one pump, which is splendid. So we are storing 12 per tick. Uh, like per, per second pretty much uh, so that should obviously fill this reservoir up relatively quickly um, we could Things get another are pump to look green and uh, if we again. wanted to but Let's I don't think we need it right this second it uh, once we get down to about 8 uh, like we're only producing 8 more than our population requires we will probably at that point start um, start looking to increase our production so that's a good thing to go off if you obviously you're interested in wanting to know what to do. A uh, good thing to go off. Get to about eight or six more than what you actually need. Uh, early on that is, you need about eight or six more than what you need. When you get more into the game and obviously get a lot more people and a, well, a lot more nuggets and a lot more like things going on, I would say you probably need in the region of about a hundred uh, more than what you actually need. The only reason for that is you need these reservoirs to fill up because these need to last throughout the winter uh, because obviously your pumps don't work throughout the winter so you need an absolute butt ton of where reservoirs and not only that you then obviously need uh, to be able to fill them up so later on in the game you do want to get a substantial uh, higher income of water so you probably like like i say you're probably looking at about 100 more than what you actually need um, something around that sort of uh, level so right like, come on and prioritize there so any problem with the game is uh it uh i feel like it takes a very long time for things to actually um start working properly uh hopefully the volume for this episode is not too loud as well and hopefully i'm not too loud i, I mean i'm in the yellow on my uh, on obs which is what i use to record stuff 
Uh, I'm in the yellow, so that should, shouldn't be too loud. I wouldn't have thought, but we'll see. That is glowing, like it is prioritized, so that, that should be getting done. Um, I don't know why they're not doing it. Uh, okay. We are going to get calendar, which is obviously ideal, because that means we can now place a uh, for weather forecast station, which we are going to do right in the epicenter as well. Um, that is something that we need for the epicenter. So that is here, and you are... Where is the forecast station? That one. There it is. Forecast tower. So let's get that in right in here. Right next to the detail. As close as we can get it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna try and map out a few things a little bit better in this uh, in this C series. Ah, that's why they've rebuilt it. Makes sense. It's because we don't have the engineers' hooks. But we're getting that now. Oh, look at that. UFO. UFO. Look at that. The first one we've seen. They will actually abduct your, your citizens, so <laughs> your nuggets. So <laughs> be careful of that. that like I say, they, they, they actually will abduct the, uh, the nuggets. Uh, we don't want the bear, we want that chest. Alright, let's go back to the uh, settlement. I wish there was a quicker way of panning. There it is. But there doesn't seem to be a quicker way of panning. Uh, obviously, when you're holding stuff. So that is the other side of the notch. Uh, oh, leaning tower appears at that one. That's very good. What is all this? There's loads of food lying around. Uh, so we do need a storage, which we are... Well, we do have now unlocked, which is great. So warehouse. And we'll grab the warehouse and put the warehouse right in there. Perfect fit for it around on that road. So we'll throw it in there. This well still isn't done, which is not ideal. Uh, we do need to allow people... We do need to make some more people fall in love. So let's find who they are. So you're one. There we go. Boom. And you're the other one. Boom. Right, there we go. You two fall in love, which is splendid. We have 400 points, which is really, really good. And we want to get back to picking stuff up. So, look at that one. There we go. Uh, Engineer's Hut's working now, so we will get someone working in there. We'll get one of the older guys as well. Maximus can go and do that. So that should now help, because he should now start going to repair some of these... Uh, buildings and stuff. I don't know if they're technically... Yeah, they are in range, which is good. The reservoirs we will need to obviously deal with. Uh, you're just about in range as well. Uh, so we will probably get another engineer's hut on this side of the uh, settlement. Um, we're going to go to you. We're going to go to you. And we may as well preempt it because we will want to expand into this area later on anyway, so we may as well preempt it. We'll get it on this road edge. Uh, and we'll build it there. We won't put it as a priority because I don't think it is. Uh, everything we have so far is covered, so that's perfectly fine. You're finally getting done the well, which is great. Uh, the warehouse is getting slowly done as well, which is, again, great. It just means that our food can go away. That is patrolling, I tell you. Absolutely patrolling. We will get there eventually and get... <laughs> UFOs once they actually unlock, <laughs> uh, once we actually unlock the uh, the, tech, the research to be able to do so. Uh, pulley system, so this allows us to get the water capacity, we want to get grass weaved, uh, and we do want to get cemeteries, but I think the cemeteries can wait for right this second, uh, we don't actually need them as such yet. We want to get hunting, all of these and then we'll go for clothing and watchtowers, good ones to get fickle as well. Mind can easily be overwhelmed. <laughs> So you're mining that rock. Uh, yes, yeah, stone. You're getting all 50 things out of it. Whatever, 50 whatever you've got. What are you carrying? You're carrying free stone out of that. Whoever is... Okay, the reason I picked nice and big lakes, by the way, or nice big oceans or whatever, the reason I picked... Ooh, look, the moon. Um, or whatever that's called. Might not be the moon. Uh, the reason I pick massive ones is because the weather 
obviously covers a lot more of it. The more the more the weather helps because we want this to lake to never run out, so we want to constantly keep it topped up. So the only the best way to do that is uh, to obviously allow it to rain, and obviously the bigger the, the lake or the bigger the, the ocean or whatever you want to call it, uh, the more likelihood that it'll get covered by uh, rainfall. Uh, since I've just noticed as well, we will grab. Uh, where the hell are you? Resources. Oh, you. Here we go. We will grab another pump. Uh, there we go. Grab another pump. Since we're down to now nine. So we'll grab another one and preempt that a little bit. Uh, you are going up and down. It is quite hot, so that, that is evaporating a little bit. So we'll grab another pump to overcome that evaporation loss. And yeah, we've got quite a few things going in at the moment. Uh, we're currently working on, obviously, uh, stuff as fast as we can. See, now this accommodates for five people. Once we get the pulley system, that unlocks an extra slot. Uh, I think it's an extra one. Yeah, an extra one slot, which means then it can now do six people with, at a time, which is really good because we only obviously have 13, 10 of them being obviously adults, three being children. So that's actually a really, really good uh, amount, which is why I say when you get to the, this sort of one stage, you only need like one pair like every like 25 colonists because not everyone is gonna be hungry or thirsty all at the exact same time so they will spread out and this obviously will refill itself slowly so don't worry about it so much um so yeah go for like one every 25 and then just try and keep them as close to like wherever they're building huts as well uh, or wherever eateries are and stuff like that because they will obviously uh, need that sort of stuff the warehouse is very very slowly getting done but i'm not too bothered at the moment uh everything's just getting thrown on the floor anyway so that's not too bad once that is built people will or nuggets will start shipping stuff in and out of there which is really good so the pulley system done now so we've unlocked another slot so we are up to six now which is great uh, and that will just fill up the the grass weaving all that does is allow nuggets to carry more more items um if you get it early on it's actually more beneficial for later on in the game um, so the earlier you get it the better my friend Elu never had a particular ple pleasant face that nugget isn't looking too so good hard. i don't Not think purple bumps lately. are very I haven't common seen the shade of green before in my life she must be ill so that's fine uh so we'll Heal find the nugget creator I can't we'll bear to Ellie watch someone to, be sick. Uh, it makes my insides turn uh, let's go to out her. of worry, of course. And then we will... There we go. You. And now... Boom. There we go. Happy days. There we go. Get rid of that. No, get rid of you, thank you. Go away. Happy days. She is now nice and well. And we are carrying on. Uh, watchtower or the forecast tower should I say has got the resources it needs and is currently getting built which is uh, great news uh, and all the other stuff is slowly getting done which again I'm not too fussed at this stage because things can go quite slowly at the start because obviously you're trying to build up the uh, the colony so what we're going to do is we're going to again once again we've got a couple of extra citizens so you and where have you gone? I can't even see him. There he is. You and you. What are you? You're going to have to wait because we don't have enough mother? people right now. So, but well, we don't have enough adults. So you're going to have to unfortunately wait for your the love of your life to show up. But that's fine. Uh, we it won't take long for that to take over anyway. Um, but yeah, this is the best way to grow the colony to start with is to just obviously force people to fall in love with each other. You can do this up to about a population of about 30. It's ideal to do about a population of about 30. After that, uh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. The only downside if you don't do it is this nugget count of people obviously that believe in you will start to fall or will start to maintain its level or start to fall. So just bear that in mind. The more you do it, the, the better it actually is. We'll get now uh, they can finally be useful. Eximus, Ze Mo Mofus. I don't know. We'll go with I don't know. Whatever. So as you can see, now this is starting to expand the forecast tower. 
and the warehouse is now built as well which is great news because we can actually start storing anything up to a hundred items in here all at the same time which is grand which means all this food that's currently outside all of this can get now put into there okay uh you are working on that so there's absolutely tons and tons of stone there so don't need to worry about that so much stone is actually really good in this area we've got three there we've got three thousand there and then all the other stone that's currently just lying around you know what i mean we've got absolutely tons and tons of it as well as tons and tons of iron it seems as well but loads of iron just lying around as well which is obviously really good uh, for later on uh, grass weaving which there we go so that allows nuggets to carry two more things so they can now carry up to five items at a time which obviously will speed up the uh, transfer of stuff uh, we're working on a hunting lodge which to be honest we don't 100% need right now um, our fishery is actually doing okay it's producing 10 food per sort of at a time so we've got 10 food in there at the moment uh, this local warehouse stores loads of food so it stores up to 20 food per fishing hut so it's pretty good so it's got local raw food is being stored and then this one is how much fish are waiting to be gutted yeah so quite a lot we can store up to 10 food at a time like actual like raw food uh, which obviously would then go to the uh, eatery and then get cooked into meals which is what this is prepared dishes and then obviously beverages prepared beverages people do obviously get these as well so not only do you get them from wells which is why you put them close to wells uh, just in case uh, but yeah for the time being oh we've got another one that we can uh, allow or oh, fall in love so you get you and uh, get you and then we'll have to wait on the next one it's getting slow it's this slowly going up which is really good uh, I actually like the way that the set of the civilization is actually starting to map out a little bit better. It seems to be a little bit more thought out by the uh, the nuggets uh, in comparison to the, the last time. Um, does seem to be a lot better. Okay, so we see we've got everything getting stored, and then that's 21 food. We've got 14 logs, so the yeah, we will start getting stored. Must be undergoing there, significant news. stress. They've started to go bald. Yeah, that's fine. So the people are getting drinks, people are getting food, which is great news. Water is stored up to where it's number six, so they can get water if they need it, like pretty much straight away. Don't have to wait for anything. The only burden that you get when you expand a civilization this fast is obviously the resources. They, they do require resources, so just bear that in mind. Uh, reservoir is getting there. We actually 22, so we're currently behind, so Obviously, we're currently building this, so we'll have to prioritize this now. We'll grab a uh, resources. We'll grab another one whilst we're here. There we go. We'll go to you. Let's see what they have on offer. So, we have water filtration. This uh, free water filters in every Nugget household. Plus 25 to water refill rate. Water building decay twice. Uh, DK twice faster so yeah that's not great for us uh, allows nuggets to do person we don't want that and religious uh, means creative points do go up however the research rate does significantly slow down so just bear that in mind uh, so I think we're gonna go for I don't really want right to arms but injury rate does go up happiness goes up and wild animal tax does go down so I think I'm going to leave it to the uh, the will of the people on this one. I don't think I'm going to intervene on this one because uh, I don't actually want any of them. So we will just leave it to the uh, the people to decide that one. Uh, we want to go to you adaption. So we want to get a hunter's lodge. And the best place for a hunter's lodge doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, it can really go anywhere. Just bear in mind where you want to expand to. Um, so I'm going to put the Hunter's Lodge in here actually, just by the uh, the engineer's hut. Ah, so, so you've that in there. researched hunting. You, Let's hope right, Nuggets don't cause a period of mass extinction. I do love pearl deers. 
It's just unfortunate they taste so good. It's just unfortunate they taste so good. Uh, that's getting built now, which is great. And they should be working on this one. Yeah, it's got all its stone. Uh, it's just waiting on logs. Logs are not existing right now, but that's okay. Uh, they will just cut down trees and stuff, so that is perfectly fine. Right, however though, that is it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the videos, and I will see everyone next time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for all the support, and I'll see you then.